Korean Quilt. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. It's Korean Quilt. I'm Richard. I'm Anna. And welcome. Okay, so we've been talking about working business expressions these last few days, right, Richard? Yes, we have. And yesterday we learned how to say someone is not at work. Right, exactly. And that expression is 오늘은 근무 안 해요. Now, today's expression is related to that, so it shouldn't be too difficult for our listeners. That's always a good thing when it's not too difficult, right? Yes, it is, Anna. Now, instead of saying we're not at work today, though, we're learning how to say someone has left for the day on today's Korean quilt. Right, so that would be... 퇴근했어요. Right, someone's already left for the day. 퇴근했어요. Now you might recognize one of the characters from yesterday. And in case you don't, that's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. The 퇴 character in this case means to withdraw from its Chinese roots, while the 근 character means to work hard or diligently. Right. Thus, the literal translation of today's phrase is the person has worked hard and left. 퇴근했어요. Thank you, Richard. Someone has left for the day. 퇴근했어요. 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 Right, now there's one more word that we can throw in there like a mixed salad, isn't there? Mm-hmm, and that's 벌써, which means already. Right, so the phrase then becomes someone has already left for the day. 벌써 퇴근했어요. Okay, someone has already left for the day. 벌써 퇴근했어요. Uh-oh. What? I think it's time for us to withdraw after a hard day's work, Anna. Oh, no, you're right, Richard, but we'll be back tomorrow with lots, lots more useful information on your journey through the Korean language and culture. That we will. Thanks for joining us. Bye for now.